Alright, Shalom. Call Hello, Yahweh, Bashim, Shai. The Monster of the Elders and Apostle Great Millstone. So I attend to the Brethren of the Four Corners of the Earth, pushing the word and truth and in sincerity. This is Ira from Great Millstone, Wisconsin. And uh, I wanted to talk about the importance of the names of the Lord, you know. Uh, the Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, you know. I wanted to talk about the importance, you know, because uh, without the name, you know, you don't have the spirit, you know. Without the name, you don't have hope, you know. Without the name, you don't have salvation. You know, in these other camps, you know, they teach against the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, and they teach Christ or they teach, you know, Haya Shara Haya or, you know, or some other uh, odd entity that they worship, you know. And that's just not true, man. You know, and that's not of the Lord. You know, that's the spirit of error. And that's not the spirit of Yahweh, of the Lord, you know, the most high. And, um, you know, it's and I think it's it kind of baffles me. To, uh, to know that, you know, you have the camp, don't teach the name of the Lord. You know, they know it, but they don't teach it, you know. And some may not even know it. Some might be honestly, uh, sincerely, you know, confused, you know. Also mean that they don't have the spirit, man. Because without the most high, man, you're without hope in the world. And that's dangerous, you know. So I'm just going to go right into the scriptures. It's Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 5. It says, Thus saith the Lord, power unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you. And ye shall live. Now the reason why I brought this out, because I wanted to focus on a specific word. I wanted to focus on this word breath. You know, because like I said, just said a few moments ago, uh the breath, I mean it's like the name, you know, uh encompasses the Lord's spirit, you know. And this word for breath is uh rachar, you know. It says wind, breath, mind, spirit, you know. It says spirit as that which breathes quickly in animation or agitation. Spirit, animation, vivacity, vigor, you know, courage. You know, uh, and I want to focus on animation. Animation means to be influenced, you know, to be animated. You know, which, you know, the brethren on the four, on the four corners of the earth, on the highways and byways, are influenced, you know, by the spirit of the Lord, you know. And without the Lord's name, you can't receive his spirit. You know, it says, and I will lay sinews upon you and will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin, you know, which that's, you know, the knowledge that, uh, you know, the knowledge that you know, were Israelites or, you know, the knowledge that the white man's a devil, you know, things that, that, you know, will be revealed to you in due time and put breath in you, you know, which is the spirit, man, and ye shall live, you know, so then, you know, the breath, the spirit, you know, shall give us life. And ye shall know that I am the Lord, you know. And we go into the Lord, the word Lord is in all caps. And guess what's there? You know, it says Jehovah, but it's Yahweh. You know, his name. So you get the name from from the spirit, man. You can get the you get the name from the spirit, and you get the spirit from the name, man. You know, vice versa. So for you to have the name of the Lord, for you to know the name of the Lord, you know, mean you have the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know. You know, and it's commanded since, since you know, you have been given that name. It's commandment, commanded for you to believe on that name. You know, not just to know it, but you have to believe on that name also. Because by this name comes salvation, man. This is First John chapter 3, verse 23. And this is his commandment, that we should believe on the name of his son, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and love one another as he gave us commandment. You know, so this is a commandment, you know, to believe on the name, you know. Going back to uh, Exodus chapter 20, and you shall have no other gods before me, you know, in the, uh, you know, the, uh, and the various other commandments, man, you know, and the second one after that, love thy neighbor as thyself, you know, so with all this encompasses the name, you know, and the belief on the name, you know, because believing on the name is what's going to give you salvation, not just knowing it, but belief, and he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him. And he in him, he will abide in your house, bashing out shot. And he that dwelleth in us, why? Because we believe on his name, man, and we have his spirit. And hereby we know that he abideth in us by the spirit which he hath given us, you know. Way back in Exodus, Ezekiel chapter 37, man, when the Lord woke us up to the truth, you know, we were dead, man, we were dry bones. When the Lord breathed that spirit into us and gave us that name, you know, we became alive, man. You know, and for those that I just wanted to add this in here real quick, 
But for those of you that know the name, don't believe on the name, won't call on the name, or those that you know, that don't see this, think the name of the Lord matters, man, you're walking away from understanding, man, because understanding the name is the difference between you being put to death and you having salvation. This Proverbs chapter 21, verse 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. You know? So you're choosing death over life, man. Like Moses said to uh, Joshua in the congregation, choose thee this day, life or death. You know, you're choosing death, you know, for not to acknowledge the name. You know, because when you read Romans chapter 10, verse 13, it says, for whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You know, let's go into this word name here. You know, which is uh, anima. Which means a name, universal, proper na proper names. But I wanted to come down here. It says, remembering the name, an example for one's rank, authority, interest, pleasure, command, excellences, deeds, etc. You know? So, we have to remember the Lord's name for his deeds, man, for his prophecies. His works are, as it says, man, his works are great. You know? And I wanted to come down here really quick. It says the name by which a person or a thing is called and distinguished from others, you know? So the Lord's name is distinguished above all, you know, from others and above all others, man. I just wanted to go, in that really, go into that really quick. It says, how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? See? How shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? See, it's not just enough just to know the name, and you have to believe on the name, you know? You know, 1 John 3, 23, it says, It's commandment that we should believe on, the, on his, the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. So it says, How then shall they call on him whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher, you know? And we're, pre and we're preaching the name of Yahweh Shai, man. Right? No one else is going to hear the name unless you teach it, man. You know? But you have to teach it with the belief, you know? Because like I said, belief, or in other words, faith, is your difference between salvation and death, you know? You know, people, they make, you know, these camps that make fun of us for being faith-based Israelites, but it's all over the scripture that you have to believe in the name, man. You know? Because he is our salvation. This is Psalm chapter 34. I'll start at verse 1. A Psalm of David, when he changed his behavior before Abimelech, who drove him away and he departed. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. And this, this word Lord is capitalized, so you know his name is there. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad, you know. And every time you see this word Lord here, it means his name. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Which his name is Yahweh. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai, man. You know? When you read uh, Sirach chapter 33, it tells you that, that you can't go far enough for exalting the Lord, man. Because his works are great. And the greatest work that he's going to pull, you know, is, is uh, delivering the nation of Israel out of the land of the north, man. Presumed in Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 14. You know? For it shall no longer be said, This is the Lord thy power who brought you out of the land of Egypt. But this is the Lord thy power who brought you out of the land of the north. You know? And no one's going to get delivered but by knowing his name. Whosoever shall call upon his name of the Lord shall be saved. You know? But in order to call upon the name and to be saved, you have to believe. You know? This is, uh, and this is one of my you know favorite scriptures right here. Because it's not only tells you the importance of of the name but it's telling you like look this is exactly what you this is exactly what you're going to be saved from it's a psalm chapter 33 verse 18 behold the eye of the lord is upon them that fear them that fear him salakia upon them that hope in his mercy you know in uh ecclesiastes chapter 12 you know tells you that that the conclusion of the whole matter is to fear the most high and keep his commandments man which a commandment is to believe on his name to deliver their soul from death. You know, that, that that looks like that sounds like salvation to me. 
and to him and so I can and to keep them alive in famine you know that's that's, 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 gonna, that's gonna happen in this world man you know death famine the sword you know so we have to believe on the name of the Lord to to uh, save us from that our soul waiteth for the Lord he is our help and our shield for our heart shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name see so we shall be delivered because we've trusted in his holy name and not Jesus Christ not uh, a Shar uh, Ahaya or whatever you know uh, your play or whatever you you call yourself calling the name of the Lord you know calling on the Lord as accept his name and all that other crap is gonna get you destroyed you know let's look up this uh, word holy name well, first of all, look at the word holy, which comes from the Hebrew kodash, which says apartness, holiness, sacredness, separateness. So his name is separate, man. His name is separate from all the other gods, man. Set apartness, you know? So not only is his name separate from all the other gods, when you go into the word name here, it's Shem. Or Shum. It's like it. It says name. Reputation. Fame. Glory. And isn't Yahweh Bashim, isn't the most high? Yahweh Bashim is worthy of fame and glory. The name as designation of the most high. A memorial or a monument. You know? And when you go down here, it, it gets even more into detail. It says an appellation as a, as a mark or memorial of individuality by implication of honor, authority. You know, the most high is supreme authority. So the name as designation of the most high. There's no way of getting around the, the name of the Lord at all. There's absolutely no way, man. Unless you, you just honestly just don't believe man, in your reprobate. It says, for our hearts shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. Let thy mercy, O Lord, there's his name again, Yahweh, be upon us according as we have hope in thee. You know? And let me look at this word hope. I can't remember if this was in this verse. Yeah, it's in the uh, the next verse. So I can. But it says, according as we have hope in thee, man. So we have hope. Not only do we know the name of the Lord, we have hope in that name, in the in the hope, in the hopes, in the coming, you know, coming hours that you know uh, of temptation that we may be saved. This is Romans chapter eight, verse twenty-four. For we are saved by hope. So now it's telling you, oh, we're saved by hope. But then the scripture just says, just say, you know. That we have, because we have trust in his holy name, let thy mercy be upon us according as we have hope in thee. So not only we have hope in the Lord, but there's there's rightfully so, because we are saved by that hope in, in his name. Man. But hope that is seen is not hope. You know, like you, others are like groups, man. Y'all, you want to see hope. You want the Most High to come down from the heavens himself and tell you that his name is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. You know? Or I bet if the white man came out, and said, you know, we figured out God's name. God's name is Yahweh, and, and, and you know, the the anointed's name is Yahweh Shai. I bet you you believe then, but that's not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? You know. So if you see it, you're looking at it. You know, why? Are, what, what's the point of having hope then if you can see it? You know, and it's tangible. You know. You know, even though we see the Hebrew, you know, we uh we break it down. You know, we can, you can read it, you know. You have to have faith that that's the name of the Lord. But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience hope for it, you know. And that's the coming destruction of this world, man. You know. But I wanted to go into this word hope. Really quick. Strong's G1680 El Peace. Out peace. And you see his hope, it says expectation of evil, fear, you know, so we, you know, we're going to be saved by hope, man, because we expect that the end of this world is coming, man, we expect the concentration camps, we expect the, 
the cannibalism, the famine, the pestilence, the martial law, you know, the civil unrest, the, the nuclear missiles. We expect all of that, man. You know, only and all of that, you know, is something we can't be saved from by men's might. You know, we can only be saved from that by having faith and believing in the name of Yahweh Hashem Shad. You know, and believing in His Word. And then you also have expectation of good, hope. You know, what's the good is the kingdom of heaven. You know, and good is being righteous. You know, it says joyful and confident expectation of eternal salvation. But here, I like this is my this is my favorite here. The author of hope, which is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, or who or he who is its foundation. You know. Which he who is its foundation is Yahweh Shai, man. The scriptures, as in the scriptures it is written, this is the cornerstone, you know, that which the builders have refused, you know. Yahweh Shai is he who we shall build our foundation upon. And because of that, we have to have the faith in his name, which is Yahweh Shai, you know, or hope. We have to have hope in his name, which is Yahweh Shai, you know. So with that, you know, that was, uh, that was my, um, my version of, you know, the importance of the names Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, you know, and believing in those names. So, you know, I want to say, you know, Shalom, uh, I can stay strong and, you know, keep uh, abounding in the faith of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. I'm honest to the Apostle Elder Greg Millstone, who rule well. And salutation to the elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing the word and truth and in sincerity, and believing in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai wholeheartedly. Shalom.